running? Yes. All right, we're gonna change the bear, we're gonna uh, service the bearings on the motor. Notice I get a little cup here in case any screws fall down. It's almost nighttime, so you might have uh, some pieces falling. Can't really see what's going on. Tool, let's take the prop off first. Cone. Front bolt. Front nose spinner piece. Spacer with two little washers. Back nut. Back spinner piece. Back propeller. Tool for the um, these little screws here. Once you get them loosened up, then you just unscrew right out. One. Two. Five. Six. I'm gonna look in here. Let's get a clean paper towel. Clean some of the old oil off, grease. There's the O-ring. That goes here. There's an the outer spring. This is like the clutch. That goes here. First bearing, inspect it. What I like to do is pack these. With some grease. There's a little flange on these bearings that goes forward. Pull the rest of this out. This is the front piece. Everything looks in good shape. It just fits right in there. Second bearing looks good. Again, I like to pack these with grease. Flange goes in the front.
third bearing. Looks good. I like to put a little extra grease right here per Brenner's guidance right here three little dabs in the middle I like to put just a little extra in here again these bearings are packed pack the bearings of grease little rear, rear flaring is in good shape it's like new Grab a screw. Oh, clean a little bit of the excess grease from the inside here. Right around the, the lip. It's good shape. I'm gonna take my glasses off because it's starting to get a little dark. Next, all we do is uh, get this lined up. line up with the gear in the middle. The grease kind of holds everything together. And it's almost completely dark out, so I'm kind of doing this by feel. Otherwise it wouldn't take this long to do. Get a couple of the screws started. You got a power screwdriver, this just goes like really fast. But I'm just going to take my time this evening and hand tighten these. Each one of these screws has got a small washer and a very small lock washer. You just tighten them up. Hand tight. Just to really get them started. Put my glasses back on. Snug these up with this long end here. Try to do this about every 20 to 30 flights, which amounts to a couple times a week. There's a small hole in the front of this shaft. What some will do is just push the oil straight through there, or the grease I should say, and then that, that simply, uh, you normally don't have to do much servicing at all when you do that just have to take the propeller off. Okay, now I'm going to snug these up around. These aren't that tight, just enough to snug and then you can feel the metal seats in the back. So I just go slowly, one at a time. And then uh, clean any of the excess oil and any dust that might be on here. Put the back prop on again. back piece here. This back nut here turns opposite so until you get used to turning it, you get to tighten it 
like you would normally loosening it, loosening a regular butt nut. So these are um, two washers in the standoff. The front prop goes on. Front screw. Snug this up. Last thing you want to do after you put the tail cone on or nose cone on, make sure everything's running freely. Make sure you didn't nothing binding inside. When I'm flying, sometimes after about 20 to 30 flights, to start hearing a little bit more noise in the air. So that's all free, so that's pretty much done. Alright, thank you.